Alright guys, let's take a flashback to 2009, the release of games for Windows Live, the revolutionary link that was going to bridge console gamers and PC gamers together, a true masterpiece for Microsoft. It was a load of crap, the service that left a vile taste in the mouths of many gamers alike up until about a few hours ago. Let's take a step back and showcase what that great service brought to the table. $50 out of the pocket for just being a PC gamer to access the service. CD keys that weren't working due to the faulty Windows Live client. And let's not forget the 20,000 signature- You would think to plug it there and then, wouldn't you Microsoft? But no. Why not keep it going for another half a decade? Windows 10 has dealt the final killing blow to the service from what it seems. Microsoft says they will be working closely with Steam to utilize their resources to bring quality material to the table. This is all through possible through Windows 10's link with the Xbox One, which Microsoft states will be nothing like games for Windows Live. The Windows Store featured in Windows 10 will not be a direct competitor with Steam, so says Phil Spencer, also adding, I don't expect anyone to go out and delete their Steam accounts, then go buy a game in the Windows Store. Let me tell you, Phil, that'll never happen, and let me emphasize, never. Phil also went on to say, there's enough gaming customers to go around. Well, this is old news, on to the main story. Games for Windows Live has taken its last breath. Microsoft's senior director for PC gaming and the Xbox group had this to say, Games for Windows was a prior approach where it was more. At the time, like, how do we do things, he said. We knew we wanted to help make great multiplayer. We knew we wanted to bring things over, but it wasn't the right approach. It was the approach of, let's just take these things and transplant them. In short, meaning they made a colossal mistake and we're just now owning up to it. Great. Great, guys. All they needed was to hide behind their new operating system to admit their mistake. Great. Keep in mind about a month ago in July, Microsoft was saying the service would linger around. Just the marketplace will be shut down. Gamers could download their own games onto the service and enjoy them. So they foreshadowed their own demise. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, Microsoft. You will never cease to amaze me. Well, at least the crickets outside are cheering you on. With thunderous applause at that, at least someone's in your court. Keep up the great work.